What's up guys, this is Nathan and I'm Reviewer Guy, and I'm here to review the new Jimmy Eat World album, Surviving. This is the 10th album from the Arizona-based alternative rock slash emo band. I'm not the most knowledgeable on Jimmy Eat World, but I've liked most of what I have heard from the band, so I was curious enough to check out this album. I'm not going to say whether or not I still consider them to be an emo band, because that word has taken on such a broad meaning that so many different people are going to consider so many different things emo. So labels aside, this comes off as a more light-hearted album to me. There's a lot of light, driving, pop-punk-tinged guitars throughout these 10 tracks, which sounds alright, but there's a bit of overlap in that department. Although it works for songs like Diamond and Love Never. There's a little bit of variety too, like there's a pretty cool saxophone part toward the end of All The Way Stay, and 555, a more pop-oriented song, is very simplistic and repetitive, but I like the chill vibe and catchy nature of the song, and I don't think the simplicity and repetition take away from it, at least not for me. I think there's a little bit on this album for either casual listeners, newcomers, or die-hard Jimmy Eat World fans. There's nothing outwardly bad about it, but I don't think this album is strong enough to get a lot of replay value out of me. Overall, I give Surviving a 6 out of 10. If you want to argue whether or not Jimmy Eat World are still emo after this album, feel free to do so in the comments. Thank you guys for watching the review. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you think about this album. You can follow me on my social media links in the description, and check out some more videos in the gimmick on screen. I'll see you all next time. Always a reason to let it